Welcome, esteemed viewers, to Hussein Studios. Today, within the captivating confines of this video, we are going to make a 3D model of pencil rack with grill mesh. So, without further ado, let's get blending and bring our vision to life. Firstly, press A to select all the objects, then hit the delete key to remove them. Press 1 to switch to the front view. Now, hold down Shift and press A to add a cylinder. You can scale the cylinder by pressing S and then Z to scale it along the Z axis. Zoom in for a closer view and then enter edit mode by pressing Tab. Inside edit mode, insert a loop cut by selecting Ctrl plus R and increase the number of loop cuts to 20. Choose the most upper loop by holding Alt key and clicking on it, then extrude it by pressing E. Repeat this step for the bottom loop. Now, select two loops simultaneously by holding down Alt and Shift, then extrude and scale them by pressing E followed by S. Switch to the Face Selection tool and delete the upper face. Finally, switch back to Vertex Selection mode by clicking the Vertex Selection icon. Next, select this loop by holding Alt and left click, then extrude and scale it. After that, extrude it again along the Z axis. Now, choose this loop and activate the bevel tool by pressing Ctrl plus B, adjusting the number of loops using the mouse wheel. Once you've done that, right click to smooth out the shading by selecting Shade Smooth. Moving on to modifiers, add a subdivision surface modifier and apply it. Switch to wireframe mode and select the area of the model where we want to create a grill mesh. Then, in the Face menu, select Poke Face. Return to Solid Mode, and utilize the Edge Selection tool to select two edges simultaneously by holding down Alt and Shift. Press Shift plus G, then Length to select all edges that have the same lengths, and adjust the threshold. Just want to select only the edges. Then, press Ctrl plus I to invert the selection. Switch to Wireframe Mode. Deselect the edges, here we don't want to make a grill. Switch to Solid Mode and press the Delete key, then choose Dissolve Edges. Next, select the loop by pressing Alt and left click, and press Shift plus G then Length, to select all edges that have the same length. Zoom in a little bit, now press I twice to inset the faces. Press the Delete key, and select the face to delete faces. Let's switch back to Object Mode by pressing a tab. Now, navigate to the Materials tab and add a new material. Adjust the settings by changing the base color to black, setting the metallic value to 1 for full metallicity, and decreasing the roughness to achieve a little shiny surface. Once the adjustments are made, switch to Render Mode to inspect our model. Here, you can see the pencil rack we've just modeled. Next, press Shift plus A to add a new plane for the background. Scale it up by pressing S and move it down by pressing G. Again, press S to further scale it if necessary. Enter Edit Mode by pressing Tab and select the edge. Extrude it by pressing E. Once again, select the edge and press Ctrl plus B to bevel it. Exit Edit Mode. Now, Press Shift plus A to add a light, specifically an area light. Scale it up as needed and move it up by pressing G. Rotate it by pressing R. Adjust its size again by pressing S. Go to Light menu and increase the intensity to 1000 for better illumination. Lastly, switch to Render Mode. Go to Render menu and select the EV Engines to Cycle Engines. And there you have it, a sleek and shiny pencil rack ready to showcase. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Happy blending, folks.